It's been more than a year since the shooting death of Barry Washington Jr. in downtown Bend. Today, jury selection began for Ian Cranston, the man accused of killing him. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but Bola Badabo did observe the process, and she has the details. The poll consisted of at least 100 people. Starting early this morning, they were questioned by Cranston's defense attorney, Kevin Sally, and the Deschutes County prosecutor, Books McLean. Their goal was to zone in on potential biases. Ian Cranston is on trial for the murder of Barry Washington Jr. in September of 2021. The jury selection process at the Deschutes County Courthouse went on for several hours Wednesday. The process, otherwise known as voir dire, is a preliminary examination of a witness or a juror by a judge or a counsel. About 25 jurors were questioned at a time to see if they could set aside personal convictions and be impartial. When questions about gun ownership were posed, some expressed an aversion to guns. One woman argued shooting to kill is likely not justified when a person can run away or shoot an aggressor in the foot. The attorneys work to establish whether a potential juror can make decisions based on evidence presented and on Oregon state law. A few people were excused for their inability to be impartial after the subject matter of Cranston consuming alcohol and carrying a gun came up. Cranston's defense attorney, Kevin Sally, posed many questions, including, does anybody feel that it's a bad rule that Ian Cranston had to prove his shot was lawful beyond a reasonable doubt? He explained the question was to see if anyone struggled with accepting the law. By law, the state will have to prove that lethal force on Cranston's part was justified under self-defense. Sally also asked, does anyone have a tendency to view the case as a racial motivation to right the scales? He also stated there's no evidence the case is racially motivated. Prosecutor Brooks McLean also asked the jurors, does anyone have a perception of what a person who commits murder looks like? One juror shared that Cranston looked like his grandson, who he's very fond of, but concluded his verdict will be based on presented facts. McLean also asked, do you think it's your role to decide whether Cranston or Washington are good or bad people? To which the jurors agreed it was not. Judge Beth Bagley also addressed the potential jurors, clarifying the term beyond a reasonable doubt. She explained it's a matter of eliminating all reasonable doubt until you, the juror, are convinced, calling it the highest legal standard of proof. The jury selection process concludes today and opening statements begin tomorrow. We'll keep you informed as the process continues. Bola Badibo, News Channel 21.